Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael Aker, the Crusher, and we're back today with another play review, this time on Showdown Paul Pogba. So let's get into it. So as you can see on screen, it's Pogba versus Vinaldum, Roma against Juventus. I believe it's Saturday half five. Pogba is the more expensive SBC with an 86, an 87, uh, an 88 and a 90 squad. So it's a, a 90 squad added on compared to that Vinaldum SBC. And at the moment, it's fairly expensive. Uh, just around 300k um, at the time of recording across um, all three platforms. But as you can see here, we get him done. And it, it, from the base stats, it looks like an okay card. But we'll get into that discussion. We'll get into gameplay uh, and how he walks out here. Uh, but yeah, if you look at his stats, 93 pace, 91 shooting and defending, 95 uh, passing, 97 dribbling, 93 physical. It's sort of a, a card that we're used to sort of seeing these stats from, like Barella and all the stuff we've seen from footies. But... His performances at times are a bit, mm. but you can see here, five star, five star, high medium rather than a high high compared to Vinaldum. The only concerning stats here are one, stamina, which we'll go on to, two, balance, three, agility. Um, they're, they're not the greatest, and obviously the finishing could be a little bit higher, but I don't think the finishing really matters when you compare the shot power. We can see a few shots uh, in the when we're doing the, um, the uh, review, sorry. Um, this is the squad we're using. Obviously trying out to find Adam as well. We're going for the engine chem style because it's got mainly boost the agility to 95 and the balance to 98. Because I think you've seen like cars come out like this before. Obviously six foot three as well. But that balance and uh, agility really affects the centre mids. And especially when I'm using the attacking centre mid in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Uh, which we'll show here. Um, he's been playing as that right centre mid. Van Adam was playing as the, uh, the left centre mid who died ball just ahead of him. So now we're going to get into some gameplay. Uh, and we started with just basically just trying to trying to work the card out. Like we see a little few flicks and, and whatnot here. Just basically trying to, to work this card out, see how I felt with him. Um, so throughout these range of clips, I think there's about sort of eight minutes of clips. We're going to have a range of uh, passing, dribbling, skill, shooting. Um, and then I believe he's got two goals and four assists in the, uh, the seven games that we played. But you'll see that sort of stat screen at the end. Uh, these games have all been played in 2000 plus skill rating as well. We're in the top 100 or top 150, depending on... Uh, where the ranks are at the moment on Xbox, so they're playing at quite a high level. Uh, so I thought it'd be a perfect place to test him rather than champs qualification. But you can see here, this is the first assist. What a ball that is! So so good. It's perfectly weighted. Ben Yedder's onto it. Bang. Um, one nil. Or I think it might have been one all. I can't remember the score at that time. But like you can see here, when he's on the ball, he's perfect at driving forward. Ben Yedder probably should do better, better here. Like that's probably. A, a theme of some of these chances that we create and some of the shots he probably should have got more goals and assists in the seven games but unfortunately uh, he didn't you can see there bursting away from midfield he gets the pass into Dybala this is a perfect example of uh, how good he is on the ball breaking through that midfield line however there is an element of clunkiness which you can go into at the end and the, the, the stamina as well but for the majority he's a very very good player see here get a bit cocky and go for the sombrero flick uh, volley but uh, mess up but again driving out midfield takes a step over press the wrong button uh, sends Ben Yedda down the line and it's a great save but you can see from I think this is the, we're on to the second game now very good at holding the ball up. that shot power is 99 shot power he's got a few 99 stats to be fair he's got shot power he's got long passing he's got ball control dribbling composure heading accuracy and strength strength sometimes is a bit mm, and again there's a chance there where I thought Salah should have scored um Strength sometimes good, like five star weak foot, 99 long passing, but playing balls like I was left foot. But again, this is where you're going to be seeing the 99 ball control, the 99 dribbling, the 99 composure, uh, and eventually we get the goal after the ball into Dybala. But again, it's just when you compare him to the sort of other Syria midfielders that have come out, mainly Barella. So the comparison that I've done is between Vinaldum, Barella, and Pogba. They're all very, very similar cards. I think they've all got 560 face stats and very similar um, in-game total stats as well. But I think Barella at the moment, without the boost on Pogba or Vinaldo, I'm also find out the weekend, I think Barella still retains that crown. They could go close, both of them. I think Vinaldo slightly edges it over Pogba, one because of the price, and two because I just feel like he plays a little bit better in game uh, with Pogba's clunkiness. Um, but you can see from the variety of clips that we included, like if you if you're sort of used to playing with a Paul Pogba player, I'm not. I'm used to playing a below six foot right centre mid 
um, that's fast, nimble on the ball. But if you use this sort of player, he's going to be class for you. Like there's so many people who've done reviews, they might say similar to me, they might say different. Um, but his shooting is excellent, his passing is excellent, his dribbling is probably about 75 positive, 20%, 25 percent negative. Um, just because sometimes, as I mentioned, does feel a bit clunky. But like you can see, he just like sidesteps players for fun. That's my complete error there. Uh, red time in the shot, but again. Perfect ball through to Ben Yedda um, and get another assist there. That is the range of passing you've sort of seen. Like you see the, the elasticos, the drag backs, hitting the bar there. I think we've hit the bar maybe two or three times. There's a couple of chances where I've come in from the corner, green timed it, or try to green time it, and it's just missed as well. Um, but for the majority, like look at that skill. That skill is a perfect example of how good he is on the ball. But it's just them the little bits every now and again that sort of lets this card down. And again, it's probably down to the 88 balance, the 90 agility, and it's definitely that 87 stamina. Most games, as you'll see from the end, that's uh, one of his goals, lovely flip there. But that's what he's capable of. But as you see from towards the end of this video, it's, it's about the 65th minute he's gone. On one of the games, I think I've had him on until about the 70th minute, and he had 29 stamina left. It, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But then again, there's the shot power. You slow him down, like this clip here, you go for the shot, it, it nearly goes in, it goes a bit over, but you slow it down, you go for the flicks, you go for the simple stuff. If you keep it to that level, again, horrific the time shot, this card is going to be class for you. It's just under 300k, it's obviously not a lot of this end game, you can easily do it free via the 87, 85 times 10 but again, the shot power there, green time from the shot free kick, nearly a goal. Um, again, you see, you see these sort of flicks and tricks that I've been doing throughout the whole video. Bit unlucky to lose that ball there, but he's just very good at bringing that ball out. When I start attacking in my 4 and 2 and 2 narrow, the right centre mid is the player I go to at all times. My left centre mid is the more defensive one, doing the work, and then Kante is a DM. So this right centre mid is perfect, so it needs to be perfect on the ball. And again, this should probably be a goal, another assist, which could take him to 5 assists. So Pogba was great in that aspect, like you saw there, he was unlucky with that shot. The, but as I get, I keep referring back to the clunkiness of the card. Like he easily gets through the tackle there, bottom line. But we'll go on to a few clips uh, in a minute. I think we're near the end of the, the sort of the, the clips it put together. Great skill there. Probably should have got a penalty as well. These are some of the shooting from that angle. As I mentioned, that Neymar card the other day on the angle, green time finesse. They're pretty much identical clips. These just a little bit different, but green timed nearly flies in both times. Um, but yeah, we'll go into the clips. It just shows the clunkiness. Like here, he's, he's just great on the ball. It's just the clunkiness. Every so often, he'll he'll have an extra heavy touch. Like here is a little flick up and a volley, but he'll have that extra touch, and it's just like, come on. Like here, I, I completely missed time. The shot it goes to Salad, brings it back into Chiellini, and we get the goal. Uh, and then this is his second goal for the club. Um, obviously in the right place at the right time. Um, but this is where we're going to sort of see. The stamina you saw there, 53 stamina. It, I need my centre mid to be on the full 90 minutes. Like it, he's unlucky there, but again, it's the stamina, it's the clunkiness. I keep referring back to it, and I think that's why I'm not the greatest fan of this card. Maybe he'll change with the upgrade if he gets a plus two upgrade. If uh, Juventus beat Roma, again, unlucky here on the the green time finesse hits the bar. But if he gets a plus two upgrade, it might change him a little bit because that balance is gonna go to uh, uh, 90. His jelly's gonna go to 92. And his stamina's going to 89. That's another assist he got. What a finish from Betty at Ben Yedda, by the way. But I think we're getting onto clips now, or maybe in a, a few seconds, uh, of the, the sort of negatives of the card. But the, I'd, I'd probably say 80% of the time, it's a very, very good card. Again, it's just, I always, I've been referring back to it maybe five or six times. It's the clunkiness, it's the, the stamina issues that we've sort of seen in the seven games that I played. But like, if he does get that plus two upgrade, some of these stats are going to be crazy. He's already got 99s. Uh, a few times these are sort of the clunkiness um, of the card here like heavy touches and like here I think should have released the ball a bit quicker again a heavy touch gets uh, bounced off the ball by Mendy same here against uh, Kimmich just feels a little bit clunky now we'll get into the stamina and I'm going to do a quick review so like here he's probably like 60th minute 41 stamina left this one 72nd minute he's got 46 stamina left he's just not got the energy unfortunately you need for a centre mid um, here I think this is the 29 one when I bring him off for Ericsson or Garen Butch no 39 like for a 300k card I think he should be even for Pogba he should have more stamina than that like end game August he's getting 87 stamina like EA have 
messed him about a little bit there, and I'm sure other creators will agree. Um, I hear 46 stamina stem. Let's get on to a review of the card overall. You can see stats in the, the bottom left. I've got the review replaying uh, in the top left as well. But seven games, two goals, four assists, a 7.3 average rating. Average, I'd probably say, is about right. For this card, we've gone for cost, a 3.5 star, just because 300k, the extra squad, the extra 90 squad compared to the Vinaldum card, I just don't think he's worth it. Maybe, again, but I think he has messed a lot of the prices up recently, especially since cards went out for the footies ones. But I think, like, maybe a 200k card for this, it's literally what, the 25th of uh, August, it came out on the 24th. Come on, just... There's no need for it to be for injured case, what I'm trying to say. Uh, in terms of Vela, we've got to go four star. Again, the clunkiness of stamina brings it down from that five. He is a very good card. I've mentioned it so many times. I keep repeating myself. feel like a pirate here. He's very good on the ball. He's very good at passing. He's very good at shooting. Just those two elements that bring him down. So that's why I'll give him a four star for ability. Uh, for enjoyment, we're going for a three and a half star. Again, purely because I'm having to bring him off two thirds of a game in. Like I, I need my centre mids, my, my subs are mainly used for my cam and my two strikers. I don't really want to be using another sub to bring him off, to bring another midfielder on and, sp and spice that midfield up. I need my right centre mid, my attack centre mid to be a 90 minute player, similar to Barella. So for that reason, we're going to go for a three and a half star on the enjoyment. And then an overall rating, we are, unfortunately we are going for a three and a half star as well. I'm not the biggest fan of this card. I will revisit this card if he gets an upgrade to a, either a 97 or a 98, depending on the result on Saturday. But ultimately, I'm just not a fan of this card. I think Ozio said it as well. It's the, it, And I've said it about 10 times now. It's the clunkiness. It's the stamina that are the issues this card. And you'll see in tomorrow's view with Vinaldum. He doesn't do much compared to Pogba because he's playing a different sort of role. But I prefer Vinalum over Pogba. And for that reason, it's again, it's quite harsh to put him in the hate it category. But it's either rate it or hate it. And unfortunately, I hate this card. I don't rate it whatsoever. Um, again, we can revisit. We can go for it again. But for this moment, it's going to be in the hate it category. Again, it's very harsh because he's very good on the ball. Very good at passing. Very good at shooting. But it's just the two elements that sort of ruin the card for me. Hopefully, that can change uh, with an upgrade. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's review. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button. Let us know what you think of the Showdown Pogba card and what you think of my review overall. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.